Good afternoon. Thank you for this opportunity to present my research in this meeting. My name is Patrick Tang. I'm a master student in technical medicine at the Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam. So radiotherapy is considered to be one of the fundamentals in glioblastoma therapy. Accurate target volume delineation is pivotal for radiotherapy as it is linked to improved tumor control or reduced radiation toxicity. In current clinical practice, delineation for radiotherapy planning of glioblastoma is performed on CT and structural MR imaging, where only macroscopic features of the tumor are visualized. After the delineation of the gross tumor volume, an additional expansion is added to cover for microscopic tumor invasion, creating a clinical target volume. As the tumor invasion is not visible on conventional MRI, you rely on various studies on recurrence patterns and tumor invasion to determine the extent of the margin. In general, for glioblastoma, a margin of 1.5 to 2 cm is supplied in every direction. However, if we could introduce information on microscopic tumor invasion with advanced MRI techniques and use that information in our radiotherapy planning, we could potentially achieve a more personalized and accurate delineation of the target volume to improve local tumor control and reduce radiation toxicity. During my eight months research, the aim is to take an initial step towards integrating advanced MRI techniques into clinical practice to ensure a more accurate clinical target volume for precision radiotherapy. Amide proton transfer, CMRO2 and vessel size imaging provide information on cell proliferation and oxygenation. With data from 10 patients, these advanced MRI biomarkers will be integrated in software used for radiotherapy planning and physiological CTVs for APT, CMRO2, VSI, and a combination of the three will be generated. These physiological CTVs will be compared with the standard CTVs in terms of overlap and volume and evaluated. The outcome of my research is a working pipeline of collecting advanced imaging biomarkers of glioblastoma and application of these in radiotherapy planning. After my project, we will use this pipeline in a prospective phase zero study with 40 glioblastoma patients to analyze pattern of failure of recurrences. In addition, this prospective study could provide fundamental insights into advanced biomarkers for the differentiation of cytoprogression, radiation, necrosis, and true tumor progression during follow-up. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to ask them right away or send me an email. Thank you for listening.